Hi. Now, for this part of the question, part B, it says using your answer to A, which is what I've written back down here, find in terms of N this summation, R going from 1 to N of 3, all divided by 2R plus 1 times 2R plus 3, and give your answer as a single fraction in its simplest form for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. You can always fast forward if you just want to check the final answer, but I'm going to take you slowly through now. So let's just put down the question that we're given here, okay? Sigma r going from 1 to n of 3 all over 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. And if we've got to use this answer from part A, I want to see how that uh, links in. Let's just put that up here. We've got 2 over 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. And I've got sigma r going from 1 to n. Now I can't say that this is equal to this. It's similar, but we've got the 3 here and we've got a 2 here. But I can say that they're equal to one another if I multiply this by 3 over 2. Those two 2's there would cancel and just leave me with 3 over 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. Okay, so that's the link that we need. Now I can split this into the two partial fractions that I've got here. So what we end up with is that it equals 3 over 2 then times the sum r going from 1 to n of all of, okay, 1 over 2r plus 1 minus 1 over 2r plus 3. And from here what we use is a method called the difference method. It gets the name difference because we've got a negative here between these two terms. So we've got the 3 over 2, let's just put that down, 3 over 2, and then we're going to have a big long bracket like this, okay, all the way down here, take it down to about there. And we substitute r equals 1 into both these two terms here, first of all. So when you put r equals 1 into here, you end up with 1 over 2 plus 1, 1 over 3, so you've got a third there. Then we've got minus, and we substitute r equals 1 into here. And that's going to give us 1 over 5, minus a fifth then. Okay, we move on now to when r equals 2. When r equals 2, we're going to have, for this term, it'll be 1 fifth. So it'll be plus 1 fifth. And then we've got minus, and when r is 2 in here, we end up with 1 seventh. And already I can see that this minus a fifth with added to this 1 fifth, they cancel one another out. And I'm looking for a pattern that's going to emerge. So let's see what happens when we put r equals 3 in. When r equals 3, we end up with 1 over 7. 1 seventh then, so plus 1 seventh. And then Putting r equals 3 into here, we get 1 over 9, so that would be minus 1 ninth. So hopefully you can start to see that we are getting a pattern where this term here will cancel out with this term. And then we've got, say, the 1 seventh here cancelling out with the minus 1 seventh here. So we're going to get cancelling going all the way like this through this set of values, okay, r going from 1 to n. This minus 1 ninth is going to get cancelled out with the next term down. So you're going to get something like this, minus 1 ninth getting cancelled out with a value there. Next value gets cancelled out with that one, and so on. Hopefully you get the idea. So what I need to do is pick up the value when r equals n minus 1, the line before last. So when r equals n minus 1, this one here is going to be 1, okay, we'll put plus 1 over 
and it will be 2 times n minus 1. Okay, 2 times n minus 1 and then plus 1. Okay, for that denominator there. And then for this fraction, it'll be minus 1 all over 2 bracket n minus 1 plus 3. And this term here would have cancelled out with the term before it on the right hand side, okay? Next, we better do when r equals n. When r equals n, we'd have plus 1 over 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1, minus, and then it'll be 1 over 2n plus 3, 1 over 2n plus 3. And if you check this out, this comes to 2n minus 2 plus 3. In other words, 2n plus 1. So you can see that this one cancels with this one here. So what we're left with then, let's just finish this bracket off here. Okay, come down there. What we're left with, we'll carry on in here. So we'll just remove part A. What we've got is that our summation is equal to then 3 over 2 multiplied by, and then we've just got 1 third here, and then minus 1 over 2n plus 3. And we need to simplify this, okay, it says give your answer as a single fraction in its simplest form. So this is going to be equal to the 3 over 2 there, and then simplifying these two fractions, putting them over a common multiple, okay, lowest common multiple, that would be 3 times 2n plus 3. We would need to multiply top and bottom of the third here by 2n plus 3, so it would be 1 times 2n plus 3, which is 2n plus 3. And then for this fraction, we need to multiply top and bottom by 3. So that would be 1 times 3, which is going to be 3. So it would be minus 3 there. And put that in brackets like so. And simplifying this, I can see that we're going to have 3 over 2 then, multiplied by just 2n, all over 3 times 2n plus 3. And this will simplify further because that 3 will cancel there with that 3. And this 2 here will cancel out with that 2 there. So what we end up with then is that it equals n all divided by 2n plus 3. Okay.